Hi, I'm Niall from Goldstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a Redfin 6000 Sports Fisher. This boat was uh, built in 2001. It's fitted with an Evinrude E-Tech 75 horsepower outboard engine that was built in 2004. And the boat has been extensively refitted and modified in 2013. So it's not your standard uh, Redfin 6000. This one has been built to basically commercial standard. Um, it was used as a leisure boat um, by our current owner, but um, he's a pretty serious fisherman and he did undertake an extensive refit uh, last year. So the boat is in really top-notch condition. Uh, we're going to take a walk around it now and show you all the features, show you the, the upgrades that, that it's had done. We're also going to put it through its paces in the water to show you how it performs underway and just give you a better idea of um, whether this uh, commercial grade sports fisher might be the right boat for you. The exterior of the boat is in very nice shape. The gel coat's in good condition. There is a few scuffs and scrapes, a couple of little trailer marks and stuff here on the bow, um, but that's to be expected on a boat of this age. There's no major damage or any evidence of any previous repairs that I can find. You've got this big chunky rub rail all the way around. Again, there's a couple of little light marks and things in it um, up at the bows, but nothing major. Um, and nothing to, to, to worry about. The graphics and, stuff and, and things are really good. We've got the original Redfin graphics on her. Um, and as, you, as you'll notice, there's a lot of uh, stainless steel work was done to the boat last year. It's really top quality work. Uh, we've got this high rail run all the way around the, uh, the aft end of the boat and also up around the bow section as well. The port corners are in nice condition, there's no signs of any uh, impact damage or anything back here and it's the same story then on the on the starboard side. Down along the starboard side then, gel coat still has a nice shine, a couple of little small minor marks here and there, um, but the overall condition is very nice. Uh, again, rub rail is all fully intact, stainless steel rails, the cleats, everything's really solidly mounted. Um, we've got these beefy maroon bollards on the port and starboard stern quarters and also up in the bow as well. So there's, there's pretty serious heavy duty maroon gear on the boat. As part of the boat's refit last year, the owner installed this Evinrude 75 horsepower E-Tech outboard. That's a 2004 model. Um, it was supplied as a used engine to the, to the current owner uh, from an Evinrude dealer last year. Um, it's got uh, fairly low hours and uh, it is in very nice condition. It was serviced only two hours ago, um, so there's only two hours running since it was last serviced. And it's in, it is in really nice shape. The actual, the, the coilings themselves are in very good condition. The skeg is, is virtually all marked. A couple of little slight uh, scratches on the very bottom of the skeg. The propeller's in good shape as well. Um, and uh, it's buying up the date. You know, it's a, it's a sophisticated engine. It's a direct injection two-stroke motor which is good because um, you get from that two-stroke engine, it, it gives you much punchier power delivery than you'll find with a four-stroke outboard. Um, and it's also a lot lighter than an equivalent horsepower four-stroke. So the power to weight ratio is very good. It gets the boat up on the plane really well, even with a full complement of passengers on board. Uh, and she'll push the boat on to, I think the top speed, the owner was telling me is about 33 knots. The typical cruising speeds are only about 20 knots. And she's also pretty fuel efficient because it's that direct injection two-stroke system. It's much more fuel efficient than uh, your two-strokes of old um, that were running just standard pre-mixes. Um, so we've also got, um, as well as the digital the gauges and stuff at the helm, and the, the proper remote controls. She's got this uh, remote trim switch, which is good for trimming the engine up without having to climb up into the boat. Um, I'm going to pop the cover off now as well and just show you what she looks like onto the hood. Taking a look underneath the hood, you can see the sort of condition the engine's in. It um, looks really well. There's no evidence of any uh, corrosion or anything in there. All the bolt heads and things are nice and clean. The, the control cables down here, they're all nice and uh, freely moving and, and totally uh, corrosion free. You can tell that the fuel filter here, this obviously was changed a couple of hours ago, but the, that fuel is crystal clear. Nice clean fuel filter. And also then if you come around the other side of the engine here, you can see it is an oil injection motor. The oil tank's built into the, the, the engine underneath the coiling. We've got the oil fill point here. Um, again, everything around this side, we've got your electronic boxes and stuff around here, the starter motor. It all looks really nice. 
there's no signs of any paint discoloration, no signs of any overheating, no signs of any corrosion. Um, really solid outboard. It's starting first turn of the key, and like I said, it, it gives the boat um, pretty strong performance. But you'll see that for yourself whenever we put the boat in the water, put it through its paces. If you take a look at the front of the boat, you'll notice that she has a nice slender profile uh, and she's got a, a very fine entry at the bows. So um, you've got a nice deep V up at the forward section of the hull and it comes to a nice fine point. We've also got, we've also got a high prow on her as well. Um, the gunnels come up very high whenever you're standing inside the boat. So it makes her an excellent sea boat. They're very well built, very solid construction um, and uh, they perform really well in rough weather. This boat is because she's got the, the, the console and the steering, the wheelhouse mounted nice and far forward inside the boat as well. It's very well balanced. Um, it runs at a nice angle in the water um, and like I said she's very capable um, around the you know the coastal waters of the UK and Ireland. The current owner um, used her out of Coleraine Harbour on the north coast of Ireland and he tells me that he's, he's done some serious fishing whether he's been up to I think he was 25 miles offshore in her um, and uh, you know that shows the confidence that he has in her. He actually runs a, a charter fishing boat or he's in the process of getting a charter fishing boat set up to run out of Coleraine as well so he's, you know, he's an experienced boatman, he knows the water, he knows the, the conditions he can come up against and you know he's confident in the, the abilities of the Redfin to get him out and home again um, in one piece. So. We'll put her in the water and show you, give you an idea how she goes, but she is a very good, very good sea boat. You'll also see that the, the boat has been antifoiled as well, the fresh coat antifoil paint. So she is literally ready just to go into the water for the season. This boat's an out and out fishing machine, so she's decks are cleared um, for, for fishing space. The boat is well it's six meters long, it's just about 2.2 meters wide. Uh, because the gunnels are quite narrow, you get the, you know, most of that is internal, internal space. So there's plenty of room back here for probably at least four people to fish off her with no problem. There's a couple of little recessed seats in the uh, in the transom there, and these are molded and on skid as well. So if you're stepping in and out of the boat or off and on to the you know the a jetty or something, you've got you know it's safe on your foot for getting in and out. Um, these stainless steel handrails, which are were an addition as part of the refit last year. They extend the gunnel height up to almost sort of waist height. So if you are fishing um, and you're out in a swell or whatever in, in uh, heavier weather, you know you feel nice and safe and secure inside the boat. There's no danger of you going over the side. Um, the deck itself is um, it's all painted with the non-skid uh, floor paint. So there's, you know it's very secure on your foot. It's a fully bailing deck, so it self bails as well. There's a big scupper at the back of the deck, so if any water finds its way inside the boat, it'll drain overboard. But like I said, with the high prow on it, it's a pretty a dry boat out in, uh, in heavier weather. And then you can see we've got this uh, steering, centered forward steering console, which is original to the boat, and then this wheelhouse, you know, this, this perspex screen and stainless frame, along with the fiberglass hard top. It's been fully custom made for the boat in 2013 by the current owner um, and uh, I think you'll agree it's absolutely top notch work, the, the, you know it's really high quality um, engineering work has gone into to making this and installing this, it's totally solid, um, it's very well mounted into the floor of the boat um, and it's nicely finished off as well, you know there's no really, there's no rough exposed edges, everything's been rounded off nicely. All the stainless steel work has been really well done with really nice, tidy, smooth welds. Um, the Perspex, it must be about maybe 8 mil thick, so it's super heavy, heavy duty uh, Perspex. And because we've got a forward rake on that screen as well, it means you don't get any glare, so it's, you get clear visibility through the screen. Um, and it gives really good protection for the helmsman and a passenger as well. And even you know your crew can stand here, there's handrails, you can get in underneath the the hard top uh, roof as well so um, the, the layout is like I said it's all about just making the, the boat the most of the usable space on board and having it well set up for uh, for doing a bit of sea, sea fishing from. A couple of the other modifications I just want to point out to you as well while we're here is um, this while this seat sort of come leading post I think was original to the boat this uh, these are uh, these uh, five rod holders across the back were an add-on 
the stainless bar was welded into the original uh, steel where you can see it there. Um, the owner also put in this deck hatch just to give you a bit, bit more um, storage space and you could use that as like a, a live well or a bait well in there. There's an anchor down in there at the minute as well. Again, it's, the, it's all well done. This is properly recessed. We've got a scupper there so any of the water finds its way down in through the gap will go overboard and won't go down into the inner hull. Um, stainless steel hinges and, and catches and everything there. And then we've also uh, got a couple of two stainless steel fuel tanks which are located outboard right at the back of the boat which I'll, I'll show you now if you take a look inside here. So we've got these two access hatches and they give you access to the two stainless steel fuel tanks. So we've got one here on the port side, one on the starboard side. They are filled through this uh, stainless steel deck filler here on the rear deck and then they're, um, they're linked by a balance pipe uh, as well. So um, you can fill both tanks from the one point and the engine will, will drain both, both tanks at the same time. We've also got a fuel water separating filter in here um, and it's all a really tidy installation. Again, the, the tanks are top quality, they're stainless steel so they're totally corrosion proof. Um, all the it's proper fuel hose has been used, the, the, the tanks have been secured well, the fuel filters properly secured um, and just the quality of the work that was done to the boat throughout really is, is top notch, you couldn't, you couldn't ask for any better. The reason for the extra tanks, or the extra tank on the stainless steel is just to give the boat extra range. Like I said, the, uh, the current owner is a pretty serious fisherman and um, he would be out up to 20 miles offshore. He wanted to just make sure that he had plenty of range in the boat to get him uh, out to his fishing grounds and back home again with, with plenty of reserve left in the tank. Up in the forward section of the boat, just in front of the, the wheelhouse, again, you've probably got room up here for two people to fish off. Um, like I said, the really high prow in the boat, the gunnels come up very high, and then with the, uh, the bow rails up here as well, um, it, you feel really safe and secure in here. There's a great spot for firing gear and things if you've got less people on board. Um, and again, you can, get, you, know, you can balance the weight of the boat out by storing all your gear up in this forward section. Like I said, we've got a nice sturdy marine bollard. Again, this, would, this looks like it was brand new last year. We've got a couple of fair leads here. We've got a stainless steel anchor roller at the front. That's all solid and secure. There's another little uh, storage box come like rope locker in the forward section there. And then just in the front of the, the steering console, we've got access into the, uh, the battery box and the isolator switch. So the boat was, was fitted with two brand new batteries in 2013 um, and it was also fully rewired at the same time. So we've got a new battery switch in there, new wiring up to the, the dash uh, switch panel uh, and obviously whenever the Evinrude engine was installed it came complete with uh, new control cables, new control harness um, and new instruments as well. So the boat was fully rewired um, in 2013 so it's all in really good, good working condition. The helm position on the boat is, is pretty good. We've got this, uh, this seat um, and whenever you're using it as a seat we've got um, a little stainless steel bar running across the bottom of the, the console and also there's a recess out of the console so you've got room for your feet. Um, so you can sit on it, you get clear visibility through the, like I said, the, the raked Perspex screen which is like a reverse angle rake on it so you don't get any glare. Um, it maintains good visibility. And you can also, there's room to stand here and use this like a leaning post as well, so if you want to helm the boat from, uh, from a standing position. The steering system and all was brand new last year, 2013. We've got these Avenue uh, instruments as well, so we've got a taco and a trim gauge. The taco has a built-in uh, warning system for oil pressure, temperature, uh, low oil level and uh, check engine light as well, so we've got full diagnostic function functionality through the gauges. Um, and then there's a little switch panel here for instrument, you know, your navigation lights, bilge pump, um, VHF radio and your, your electronics. So it's fitted with a Simrad uh, RS10 VHF radio. Um, we've also got a Raytheon RL70C um, chart plotter system as well. So uh, boat's well set up for electronics. We've got a little bit of storage up here as well in the overhead console. Um, and. Uh, yeah, the whole thing, like I said, this whole unit is, it offers really good protection to the helmsman and there's probably room up here for a passenger as well. Um, and uh, it's really, really well done. It looks the part as well. I think it's got, it's got the right proportions 
um, whenever you're standing looking at the boat. So the boat actually has pretty nice lines, I think. And quite often with uh, retrofitted hard tops and ex accessories and things, they can get you can very easily ruin the look of the boat. And uh, this one does not do that. You know, it's got nice chunky tubes, tinted perspex screens on it. Um, it's at the right sort of height, um, and with that red. Um, Roof, the hard top roof on it, I think it looks really well. So we're going to put the boat, uh, we're going to fire the engine up and let you hear how it runs. Um, like I said, it's starting first turn of the key and it's got a lovely smooth idle, you don't get that two stroke clatter that you're, you might be used to with older two stroke engines because it's that E-Tech direct injection model and uh, it gives the boat really good turn of speed so we're going to put it through its paces in the water and just show you for yourself exactly how it performs. On the roof of the hardtop as well, we've got this little light tire. So again, this is a, one of the recent additions, 2013. Stainless steel tire, we've got all round white anchor light mounted up on top. We've got a big uh, steaming light and also a stern light as well. Um, as well as these uh, port and starboard uh, standard nav lights on the sides. So this is all, again, the, the quality of the, the nav lights would be suitable for about, about two or three times the size of this. So it's everything, like the rest of the 
the, uh, the insulation really solidly engineered. If anything, it's overbuilt for the boat um, and it's all in really good, perfect working condition. We've also got two VHF antennas up here as well. So again, it's just a sign, you know, that the, the, the owner is really safety conscious. He was doing serious offshore fishing with the boat and he wanted to make sure um, he, he sort of covered all his bases from a safety point of view. So having a twin uh, antenna set up was good in terms of he had a problem with one. He's got a backup system in place there. So again, this is all really nicely molded and finished. A red gel coat finish looks the part um, and matches the red hull stripes on the boat. The boat uh, comes complete with this single axle SBS road trailer. It's a UK spec trailer. I've towed it maybe 40 miles to bring it into the showroom here without incident. Um, so it's towing really well. So there you have it. This is a 2001 Redfin 6000, extensively modified and improved in, in 2013. It's fitted with a, a 2004 Evinrude 75 horsepower e tech engine. Comes complete with a, a SBS UK spec road trailer and the boat is in fantastic condition throughout. It's really well, the refit work was done in exceptionally high standard. It's a very capable offshore fishing boat. Uh, hopefully it's apparent from the video that she's in immaculate condition. Um, very clean and, and solid throughout. Um, and she will, uh, I think she'll make a, a great buy for somebody. Um, if somebody's looking for a, a really top notch um, fishing boat that has proper offshore pedigree. Um, it's gonna get you home safe every time and uh, that has plenty of room for fishing, you know, five or six people out of with ease. So if you're interested in the boat and you'd like to come and have a look at it or arrange a sea trial, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just give me a call or drop me an email or you can fill out the callback request form on our website and I'll give you a call at a time that's uh, convenient for you. Thanks for watching.